Namaskar. Here is a small attempt on our part to bring you the rich musical heritage of India. For the next 75 weeks, every week we'll have a short preamble that will talk about one rag. This has been made possible thanks to Dr. Kanik Skanikeshwaran, who generously donated use of his tunes in this particular attempt of ours. Hope you like it and uh, Namaskar. Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Pancha Pancha Dasharag Malinim Sakala Deshar Kala Pravartini Shatamarga Samata Adani keeps buying NDTV shares in the open market and sooner or later he is going to be the 51% or the owner of NDTV. There was news doing the rounds that Pranay Roy and Radhika Rai have resigned. Well, the people got it wrong. They did not resign from the board of NDTV. They resigned from the board of RRPR Holdings. What is this RRPR Holdings? Let me show you what exactly that means. So here we go. This is the ownership of NDTV as it stands today. The ownership goes as follows. VCPL owns 29%. Now this 29% was purchased by Adani. So Adani Group owns this entity called VCPL and that is 29%. The Roy's still own 32% of NDTV and the public owns 26%. By 5th of December, they would have probably uh, sold much of that to Adani Group and then Adani Group once he's at 29 I believe it is already around 40 now and plus the Oswald 13 percent they have said that they will support Adani so basically he has the con a company uh, under his control see this VCPL that used to be called RRPR Holdings and that RRPR Holdings had a uh, direct on its directors uh, both Radhika Roy and Pranoy Roy. It is from that board that they have resigned. RRPR Holdings. RRPR Holdings is the same as VCPL now. And now VCPL is part of Adani Group. I don't know when VCPL will be dissolved or they'll keep that as an entity. I don't know that. It doesn't matter. Now in this RRPR board, that is uh, the, the, play, the board where uh, Radhika Roy and Pranoy Roy have left, now we have three people in that board appointed by the Adani group. Sudipta Bhattacharya, Sanjay Pugalia and Sendil Sengalwarayan. Now this constitutes perhaps, um, you know, the board of RRPR. I don't know if RRPR or VCPL, whichever way you want to think of it, will have its own board meetings or if that's going to be absorbed into the Adani group and have one big meeting. Um, again, this, this could also be absorbed into NTTV. It doesn't really matter much. What matters is the ownership of the company NDTV and that is uh, uh, Adani Group because once they have more than 50%, they are the absolute owners. Remember, Adani has asked Pranoy Roy to stay on as the chairman of the NDTV board. That he has not quit yet. So don't get the two confused, right? So now let's get back to the main story. What is going to happen? Pranoy Roy and Radhika Roy still personally own 32% of the company and uh, you can do the multiplication and see how much that works out to in crores. Today's price I think is around 400 rupees a share. So it might, might be 800 to 900 crores. Now they owe at least 800 crores if I remember correctly as taxes to income tax and, and maybe there are some other things. This is just the income tax money that they owe. There may be other things, there may be other fines, especially the ED has still not charge sheeted them. And CBI has a couple of cases. We don't know what are the fines that are going to be laid there or if they will still have to go to jail for that. I have no idea. It's up to these agencies. They'll have to come up with a clear cut strategy as to how they are going to deal with the Roy's once this part gets out. We also know that Ravish Kumar has resigned from NDTV. 
He might have done it for personal reasons. I mean, right now it's it's a ship that is going to seek uh, or, or, or go in a different direction. Why do I think so? Well, for one thing, um, NDTV was the face of India outside of India. I mean, if you go to any European country or if you're going to South Africa or any African country, many of these things had a token Indian channel and uh, because maybe Indian expats lived there, whatever. I mean, the, if, and, and that source used to be NDTV. They had grabbed that part and on all these basic TV cable systems, they used to be a regular on those things. Now, remember that NDTV was always against Modi and they used to spew venom, whether it is, in fact, this is a 20 year story that we are talking about. So that part, I'm sure it's going to be reset. I'm sure that uh, Adani will have a more middle of the road. Uh, perhaps once he get to that point, grow slowly, gradually, he might go towards the BJP, just like the way you're seeing Times Now TV, you know, leaning more and more towards uh, uh, BJP. I'm not saying that this is right or wrong. This is how I see it. I mean, you know, uh, others may disagree. Rahul Shivshankar might say, no, Sri, you're wrong. We are still, you know, whatever. It's okay. That's how I perceive it. What was the entity that sold their shares for 294 rupees uh, to the Adani group? That is basically leaving money on the table. Well, we won't know that until the 5th of December and on 5th, Maybe you will know who exactly it is. It will still be a name. There may be some other things hidden. But at least you will get your answer on the 5th. What's going to happen to the NDTV itself? It needs a change of face because a change of ownership means a change of face. Could that new face be Palki Sharma? Well, speculation is rife, especially because Palki's husband, Sanket Upadhyay, works at NDTV. You may have seen him in some of the shows. Uh, I I don't watch NDTV, so I can't say whether uh, he works there or not. But this is what I read in the newspapers that uh, in, in social media that he is uh, working at NDTV. So it's possible that she might be the face of the channel. You know how many big uh, luminaries used to grace that channel? Raj, Rajdeep Sardesai, Barkhadat, Arnav Goswami, and then Pranay Roy and uh, Sagarika Ghosh. You have you you know all the long list of people who used to grace the channel. Now, it is very likely that Palki Sharma might be the face of the NDTV channel. Well, we'll have to wait and see what plays out, but it's not going to be very long. Maybe in the next week or so, we will know the answer. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.